drunk every night If I can make it if I try to draw the red light I could run through the fire I could crank up the night If I can make it if I try to draw the red light We should probably have the microphone on. I, we're, <laughs> this has just been a fantastic start. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing test your spot today, everybody. It's going to be fantastic. Um, it's going to be live. First time I've ever done this live, but it should be fun. I think anyway, we are going to go through a number of different, um, you know, content creators out there that play fishing plant as well. We're going to test their spots and today we're going to be going to the Congo. So that ought to be pretty cool. I think anyway. Um, so let's go ahead. I think, I think the poll that we need to do right now though, let's, let's do a, let's do a poll that way everyone can, uh, can feel heard, right? What is um, what should we go for first? I guess for first, gotta, gotta get this right. Gotta get this right. Now we got, what do we get? Nile perch, uh, Goliath tiger fish. What else? What, what are other good Congo options? Huh? What, 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 what should we go for? For Nile perch, I see Nile perch. Many people going for Nile perch. Um, should it just be between Nile Perch and Goliath Tigerfish? Are those really the only, the two best unique catfish? There's so we got the Comba. Let's see, we got Comba, we got a sharp tooth catfish, and we got a Voodoo. The African fish, yes, all African fish, is what we should go for. Here, I'll, I'll throw something else in just for fun. How about that? and start the poll i guess i could have thrown in an african catfish you guys you guys vote though we'll we'll decide i'm gonna give it um oh let's give it one minute here 
give it one minute, see what people think, and then we'll uh, decide decide what to go for first. You like the neon tetras? Got to get the neon tetras. That's 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 what should be first. I'm saying, oh oh, now perch and Vundu catfish back and forth. 19 votes so far out of 50. Goodness gracious. 20, 21 now. Now perch and Voodoo pretty much neck and neck still. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to take this moment to uh, get some of my rods here. Get some of my rods here together. I don't have, I don't have really anything put together at the moment. I figured we would watch the video and find out what we should use then. However, I think it's pretty safe to say that we'll need some of our heavier setups. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab some of those. But you guys are you guys are playing jokes on me now. You're just trying to keep everything as even as possible, huh? Congo match set. We'll need that. Congo bottom rod. We'll need 40 pound Congo bottom setup. Oh, you've got to be joking. You are summoned by Neon Tetris. All right. I'm waiting for it to get to 30 votes. I feel like 30 votes out of 50 is not, not too terrible to ask for. I feel like that's pretty... 30 out of 50. That's 3 out of 5 people. All I can smell is Dog Hospital. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This this uh, this uh vote has been a roller coaster. It went from Nile Perch being neck and neck to Goliath Tigerfish uh, pulling out uh, you know, at the very end there. And now Voodoo Catfish has taken the lead and we're still waiting for one more vote. Just to make sure. Just to make sure. We've got it all figured out here. Eighty one point six, eighty one point six. Thirty votes, and the Voodoo Catfish comes out on top. All right, we are going to look up Voodoo Catfish, unique Voodoo. Voodoo. I don't know how to pronounce it. How to how to spell it either. Is it just one U? Catfish. Is that is that good enough? All right. Now, now here's the second part. Now we have to do we have to do another poll. Uh, though I feel like we'll just go ahead and 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 do. Ah, eh, well, let's go. Let's. let's I, we we need some fair way of choosing who to go with. I feel like, don't you think? We can't just just choose people at random. Uh, so let's here. I'll do. Whose video? We'll do this for the first one at least. And then we'll, and then if it's taking too long to do all this, then we'll just we'll mix it up afterwards. Super Dave, let's do pink astronotus. Uh, let's do four, at least four options. Um, D's universe and Ma Frang. I feel like we've seen all these people on various Test Your Spot episodes. All right, we'll give this a minute. We'll give this at least 20 votes. Okay, while I continue to try to get my uh, my match stuff together here. All right. And then I'll get... Spinning preset. That. Fishing planet looks like your fishing planet. He knew looks like your dad. I, I, I've been, I've been living this. I've been hearing about this for years. Got you, got you. It looks like Super Dave is gonna is gonna pull this off pretty, uh, pretty handedly here. Sounds good. Well, we'll watch Super Dave then. Figure out what he recommends. Who's this chick? That's not Super Dave. You can't trick me. I've never seen Super Dave, but I can bet you it's not that girl. 
Welcome back, folks, to Fishing Planet here for the unique Vandu catfish. Vandu. Now, you can use any uh, setups, you know, for float and bottom that you normally would for a catfish with a six out like large cup bait, large liver, or canned meat. They work pretty well here, but I actually recommend a spinning setup here for the Vandu. And you will catch all three types of unique catfish here, the big ones here. Um, so the rose spinning setup. I did not. I did not foresee a, a spinning setup. Yeah, uh, six O uh, hook. It doesn't matter if it's a jig head or a rig. Uh, all the rigs work down here as well. I generally use the Texas rig, uh, but is you can see the spot right here. When you are spinning for them, guys, stop and go on to the bottom. Uh, definitely is the way to go uh, right on the bottom of the water and if you are doing float make sure you're doing max depth here guys uh, but like i said spinning seems to be the best so if you want the marks for your map they are 59.5 negative 513.5 also this is the boat mark where i parked and if you leave your boat unanchored it will help you out at 59 negative 468.2 hopefully the this helps you out, guys. We'll see you next time, folks. Okay. Look at him pulling up that unique voodoo. All right. All right. I see you. I see you. Okay. So two things, obviously important. We or three things, I guess. We need to see this six hot hook he recommended. If we uh, spin on over over here, six hot hook he recommended. So I need to find a six hot hook. I have a 12 odd on here at the moment. Six odd. There we go. Okay, six odd hook. We have a six inch rib shad. Uh, this whole setup should be just fine, I would hope, anyway. Um, maybe we'll adjust this. We'll make this shorter. Oh, we don't have to pull up so much. 18 inch there. Um, let's go ahead. I should probably put in a bunch of bunch of bait we would need. Would be the smart thing to do. Well, we could do multiple things at the same time, but we might end up coming back to the map anyway, so. So, whatever. Does it even matter? No. Okay, so let's just focus on this then. We need it to be what time? Congo River. Let's buy a license. Then he recommended. We skew on back over here. He recommended this time, I believe. That looks like day two. I'm gonna go into the map and skip to day two right now. Is Everglades better than Moose Lake trying to make money? I wouldn't think so, Bjorn. I wouldn't think so. So that's gonna be day two here. Let's go ahead and get in the boat. Get in the boat. Um, and then, let's see, this is the marker. So he said 61. Here we go. 59.51. We'll keep it. We'll keep it on that. We'll keep it on that. Sorry, I was waiting for the loading screen to finish up here. Fishing Planet is, is taking its time today. All right. Boat. Got in the boat. Change the time to day two. In fact, we might as well get out to where we need to go first. Let's go ahead and, um, oh shoot, we can't do it from here. We got to get up here. Just, you know, oh, we still have the, uh, St. Patty's light on. That's funny. Okay. So 59, 59 and we way down here. 59. Zoom in here. Super Dave said 59. 59.51 oh my god 59.51 by negative 513 okay so gonna be right in here 55.951 then negative 5 pretty much right there okay Close enough. All right, that's our marker. That's where we're going. 
Let's go see if we can find it on our boat. <laughs> Let's go. So I'm going for Moose Lake and not following the EESS rule. Well, Moose Lake is after EESS. I wouldn't go there at all. I would go to St. Croix. Thanks for the sub. All right, I think I see it up here. Oh yeah, it is a deep spot, okay. Should we drop anchor or should we just stay here? Just kind of let it float down. Let's just, we'll, we'll try, we'll try this for, for the first time anyway. All right, skip to day two. Let's try this sucker out. Six inch rib shad, offset hook number six aught. Stop and go on the bottom. Let's see if this is a good combination. A little bit of a stop and go going now. Took a little bit for it to activate. Oh, the last 30 feet. I might scoot forward just a tad. Keep thinking that, like, by the time we've thrown it out there, then it's got to, like, fall, and that arch is starting to create... You know, it's it's not where it's supposed to be, I guess. Let's toss out maybe like this. Get a little bit behind it, maybe, so that way when it drops down and starts doing that little arch, it starts coming back to us. I still have the horseshoe. Oh no, I do. I don't. Th I don't think I can uh, change that either. We might have to head back. Gosh dang it. Well, maybe we can catch the voodoo. We might not be able to keep it, but maybe we can catch it and then go back to the map. A. Eh? Gosh dang it. Hit the tip up for a second there. We're getting no interest whatsoever at the moment. I am way too tired for it being only nine here. Ah, I understand. I do understand. There's some big fish at the bottom. Um, my wife and I have been waking up early to do a little bit of a little bit of a workout, you know, and uh, and I mean, come nine, nine thirty or so. I'm like, all right, I'm ready for bed, <laughs> which I will say I have moved my Nintendo switch to the bedroom. So when I'm ready for bed, that really means I got to check up on my farm and farming simulator, drive tractors around for an hour and then I fall asleep around 11 o'clock or so. But uh, tell you what, that is a great way to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You would think with the loud, you know, of tractors and everything that it would just uh, keep you awake. But instead, it's just like a lullaby for me. It just sends me, sends me to sleep. I get so I get so tired just listening to that. First fish on. Good deal. Doesn't seem super big, but that's okay. Hopefully it's catfish. That'll at least get us in the in the the area we want to be in, I guess. Fishing in a deep hole with a ribbed shad. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. 14, 12, 10. Catfish? It is a catfish. Boy, it just like slung right at our face at the end there. Well, top notch. That is a 60 pound trophy voodoo catfish. We, of course, need a unique one, but that is the species we're going for. Getting towards the size we're going for. Uh, it's a good sign. Good sign so far, Super Dave. 
All right, let's release that guy. We need to keep on going, but that's good to see. I'm glad we actually caught the fish that we're going for. He did say that we could catch all three of the big catfish in this one spot here. So uh, when I heard that, I was thinking, oh God, that could be bad. That could be bad. That means we might be battling three different, three different catfish for the one unique voodoo we want. So who knows? If I can just work on my stop and go here, then uh, hopefully we'll get lucky. We don't have a lot of time either with this morning uh, little zone we have. It's like two hours of good fishing. And that's about it. As you get into the uh, the higher level fishing spots, you'll find that more and more um, that essentially you, you get like two hours of good fishing and then it's over. I feel like you start to learn that around blue crab. Once you get to blue crab, you start to notice like the best day for fishing for tarpon is on the one day that has like one spike in the morning and one spike in the evening. Um, and after that, it, it's something you kind of have to get used to. You love this map on the game? I hope you're doing good today. Thanks, Pope. Super, don't let us down. Super. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Small fish, though. Small fish. But we got them on. Com uh, it's a sharp tooth. I was about to say comba. Oh, nice. Okay, so we've got two different catfish now. I want to uh, equip the net, but at the same time, I know that will make it longer. But I love the net. The net just makes it so much more realistic for me. When you're playing a fishing game, you know, to kind of uh, remind yourself how much you love fishing. Going for a little bit of realism in a game like this, not too bad. There's still good fish on the bottom there, showing around that 30 foot mark. 30 foot mark and lower. Instead of farming sim, you switch on Stardew Valley. Hey, I see, I see. I have plans for Stardew Valley on the channel, you know. I do, I do. Just watch the Dev Dyer. Can't wait for the ocean. I can't either, man. I can't either. I'm right there with you. Did I miss any catches? No trouble, man. I was doing dishes this morning. My my dishes time is in the morning. I wake up uh, and I do do my little bit of workout. Take it after I take the dogs on a walk. I take a shower and then I go I go do some dishes. Uh, I hate eating and doing dishes right afterwards. It just ruins the moment for me. I'd rather sit in peace. Eat food, sit in peace, fish on. Those are my three things. Eat food, sit in peace, fish on. That's how I like it to be. If I could live the rest of my life like that, eat food, sit in peace, and fish on, then I'm happy, you know? I might throw in a beer somewhere in that, in that. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Making waves, making waves. Fish is too deep. We'll get him in the net. I didn't make the leader short enough, I guess. Oh, it is a Voondoo, but 33 pounds. Maybe the net's not the best the best option. Maybe we should get rid of the net. I was hoping I cut the leader short enough that we wouldn't have to worry about that, but what's the point of using the net if you can't even see yourself net the fish? You know, and with the super long leaders, you, you really can't do that. All right, we got to make sure. Still in the deep zone. The... Um, the radar on the driving, the like uh, driver's seat's better than the one on my palm pad, evidently. You get all your catfish with that setup too, it's really good. Okay, I see, I see. Mostly in your boat, I get you, Thomas. Bo, will you invite some of your high level fishing plant friends to your party on the uh, to party boat on the ocean map? I wouldn't mind it. No, not not at all. Yeah, that will be fun, man. Once it once it comes out, for sure. We'll see what we can do. What legendary is on GRR? GRR. Is that the um the American map in um <clears throat> in the Angler? If so, is it Golden Ridge Reserves? Is that the name of it? Then uh, it'd have to be Goldstein. Goldstein bass and the the, the catfish the ca the channel catfish legendary is also there
Oh, thanks, Harley J. Everybody love everybody. That's my that's my rule. Oh, who just got Dynamite Fishing Incorporated just got an Albert. Unique now, Perch. Fell asleep during your first two hour fishing plan attorney. Oh no. Can't fall asleep during the tournaments. Oh, that's funny. Tell you get farm sim campaign to see something about driving those tractors and combines and roads using first person. Very relaxing. It is. It is relaxing. And uh I don't know. It, it's I say I would say like monotonous, but not in a bad way. You know, it's a re it's a repetitive thing, just going down a line and then turning around doing the exact same thing. It's like uh, it's like those meditative Japanese, you know, sand gardens with the rake or whatever. It's supposed to be, uh, you know, a good experience or something like that. Put you into a relaxed state of mind. Uh, that's what it's like. having difficulty staying in line with this darn this darn thing the boat keeps moving i i part of me wants to put down the anchor and the other part of me is just like oh geez just deal with it just deal with it just be better than what you're doing right now why can't you just do better which is what my mind's constantly telling me so just just the way it goes Korean barbecue short ribs tonight. I had to clean up Amelia after, or else it would have been really sticky. Oh, I could see that. I could see that. Yeah, the whole house smell like it, of course. That's so anytime we uh, make a curry or, um, or yeah, something, something of that sort. Yeah, it definitely has a way of making the entire house smell like that. So I understand having to clean up in that case. I don't like it, of course. But you do what you have to do sometimes. Stardew Valley Fish Fight mod for Fishing Planet. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Three star f stop and go right at the bottom. This has got to get a fish. Got to get a fish. Coming up towards the middle, though, now. Darn it all. I think I'm going to rearrange the boat here. So uh, cover your ears real quick. I think I'm going to throw down the anchor once we get over here again. Make sure we can actually throw this distance first. That's perfect. Anchor down. Nope, wrong button. There we go. All right, let's catch ourselves a big one. Which is active. Oh, uh, I, you know, I don't know, a Maverick. I myself, what I do is I go on YouTube and I type in, um, I'll type in like Golden Ridge Reserves Legendary. And then I'll change the, uh, the video publish date to like three days ago or something like that. And it gives you a window of uh, videos that have been released or published, uh, you know, uh, I guess are new to YouTube. And those are usually the most up-to-date ones that will give you a location and kind of what fish to go for, all that jazz. That's what I do anyway. Fellow Missourian, eh? I'm a neighbor. I'm, you know, well, I'm not anymore. Used to be a neighbor. The old Kansas neighbor. We, uh, we look across the uh, border fence from Kansas to Missouri. You can only see the top half of our face, but... Uh, but, you know, we give we give a uh, we give advice to our fellow Missourians next door. Yeah, there's definitely fish down there. I just can only seem to get a good stop and go going. Oh man, we had something mess with it there. You can only seem to get a good stop and go going right at like the 40 foot mark. Come on, Super Dave. We need to have a super fish going on here. Kansas City is Missouri, my man. <laughs> well, I lived... <coughs> I lived in Overland Park, so... I was definitely on the Kansas side. We don't, we don't speak of the Missouri side in Overland Park and Leewood. 
we take our our top five city in the United States to live in, and we we stay on the Kansas side of the border. Why is your fish keeper so- Because I made a mistake, Curtis. Thanks for calling me out again. Goodness gracious. I left my horseshoe uh, stringer on from our St. Paddy's Day thing. I wasn't thinking. I also have my St. Paddy's Day hat and my St. Paddy's Day headlamp as well. So what can you do? We don't speak of the Missouri side of Missouri. <laughs> That's funny. Have you ever done a video talking about how to read and understand the fish finder in the boat? I got one a while back with one of the cash packs, but I have no idea what it's trying to tell me. Oh, uh, you know, I tell you what, I I read the fish finder how I want it to be. It, and, and maybe that's just me being optimistic about everything. When I look down at the fish finder and it's like, oh yeah, there's fish below 30 feet, like... I have no idea if they're over here or if they're over there or whatnot. I just, I cast out in the direction I want it to go and I keep it around that depth. And, and I usually manage to do pretty well, um, doing just that. So I've gotten pretty far just going off of that philosophy of how the uh, fish finder works. And so I just, I'd say for you to do the same thing. Guys, we are not having any luck with this darn uh, stop and go. We caught those first three fish, and then we have not had a single fish. I think this might be my last shot, and then we might change the time to the next day just to see if it helps. The ads are really adding. I swear I've had five since this. Really? Five? I have it on conservative, too, which is like the lowest setting. I, I cannot make it any less ads than what it is right now. So it's, it's, that's concerning. No, and the darn thing is, is that there's so many, especially, well, that's like Amazon too, but like Amazon Prime just added ads to their like basic video package or whatever that comes with Amazon Prime. And they'll give you like a 30 to one minute long ad in between your videos. Now there's a fish. I had the 15 foot mark or so. I didn't want to come in there. Oh my god, could you imagine if that was just a unique voodoo right at the end there? That would have been amazing. Well, darn it all. Darn it all! Who's sneaking up on me over here? I see you, Dynamite Fishing Incorporated. I see you over there. Let's do one last cast of no fish, and then we'll, um, we'll change the time again. Just to change it up. Just to change it up. The grind of the Amazonian maze is killing me, man. The grind everywhere is, is just a, it's a kill. I agree. I agree. I actually came up with an idea. I sent it to Andrew. I won't, I won't reveal it to you because I don't want to, don't want anyone to be like thinking it's a thing that's going to be coming anytime soon. But I came up with an idea that would make it easier for people to get through the game a little bit and still give a fishing plan the opportunity for money. You know, it's a two-way street. This is a good fish. I'm hoping it's a voodoo. Come on now. Um, but it's not outright. You know, you could technically do it by playing the game if you worked hard. Um, and it would make some of those harder grinds, you know, for the sturgeon and for, uh, Oh, golly. Um, you know, it, when you've got Maku Maku and you're trying to get to Marone River and when you're trying to go to Amazonian Maze and when you're trying to get to... Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ah! Freaking fracking trophy African. That almost arrived. African sharp tooth catfish. Darn you. Darn you. 68 pounds. Wish we could at least have our... Uh, our darn <laughs> correct fishnet. <laughs> so that we can at least be keeping these guys. Ah, uh, dang it. Gosh dang it. Come on. One, one cast of no fish. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. One cast of, a cast of no fish and we'll change the, the time. Side-eyed Cincinnati. 
You like to think of the fish finder as the screensaver of the boats, Matt? Yeah, it's not. It's like those old 90s uh, screensavers that had the pipes that just grew in different directions. That's uh, that's what the fish finder is. It means absolutely nothing. No. I like to think that the fish finder is being helpful. There are times where it just shows absolutely nothing. And at the same time, you're not catching anything. So it's just, I don't know. I want to believe that it's that it's uh, that it's helpful. I love that I said one more cast of no fish, and then I did that, and then I cast it again. Lost in conversation. Seventy-four and a half. Ooh. Come on, stop and go. Three star, stop and go. Ah, oh, two star. Come on, Vundu. Come on, Vundu. <gasps> it got hit. Did you see that? It got hit. Well, we can't end on that. We got hit by something. Plus one day every time you get asked. Yep. So it says no stream watching for you. That's right. You have to you have to watch ads. That's what the moderator, the the wrench, the wrench means more ads for you. <laughs> they need to do a double XP event during the weekend and holidays. Yeah. I'm finally at the level to start the surging ground, but I'm kind of afraid to leave St. Croix, you know? Oh, baby, here we go. It's a good fish. That's a good fish. I don't know how good it is, though. We're still kind of horsing it in. What do we got? <gasps> I'm thinking it's a combo. I don't know. We saw its head for like half a second there. It's still pulling out line, though. That's a good sign. I did make a note to Andrew that we needed a uh, audio setting to turn down boats, and uh, and I I do believe he's looking into it. <laughs> that also might be me being optimistic. I hope he's looking into it. That is a setting that we desperately need. I was so happy when they added in the audio setting for the um, oh shoot, what's it called? The uh, the bite alarms and stuff like that because those could get really annoying. And I was like, yes. Yes, fight alarms audio. And now I'm thinking like, why didn't we ask for boats at the same time? Boats can be so dang loud. You gave the common three and a half hours. Don't give up on the voodoo yet. It is a combo. Did I not guess that or what? Did I not guess that or what? Uh, how much? Okay, let's look at this. Yeah, pretty much when it turns seven o'clock, we, we got nothing. Can we just keep trucking? Maybe we'll go back out to the world map and actually change out the uh, fish net so that we can keep these fish, not let them go. Lorenzius, I don't think I have. What? What? It, what is that? What fish do you want to catch the most in the new map? Ooh, I'm thinking the Goliath grouper, man. You know, growing up in Kansas. And then with like river monsters, I think was river monsters was like the big thing for me. Like I never really had a huge desire to go after saltwater fish. Um, obviously growing in a place where the ocean is so far away um, and, and now even further with Wisconsin or whatever. But um, <sighs> and then river monsters came out and it was basically saying, you know, like these are all the scary fish that are in fresh water where you think you're safe. And that like kind of like awoke a fire inside of me that was like freshwater, dangerous freshwater fish is where it's at. It's not about those saltwater fish. Um, but you know, do I still want to go after a tarpon or a goliath grouper in real life? You betcha. Halibut, you know it. Uh, and I and I'll probably catch a sailfish or a swordfish or you know something something of the sort, a marlin sometime in my life just to say that I have um, but uh, but it's not like I, I'm not in a huge rush to do it by any means bite alarm and the bells need a different toggle water and birds and bells 
Well, the water and birds can be figured out with the uh, sound effects, you know. And that doesn't bother me so much. <gasps> come on, come on, come on, baby. Yes, 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 yes. Small fish, though. Darn it all. Well, he's taking out a little bit of line towards the end there. Common roach, you mean. Oh, yeah. The common roach took forever, I believe. One of those fish. Was it the common roach? African sharp tooth. I'm glad that we're catching the African sharp tooth now because I sure didn't catch one when I was in Taiwan. So that's fantastic. Has everyone seen the Taiwan episodes uh, on the uh, Modern Day Outdoorsman channel? If you haven't, just saying, pretty good. Pretty good. I watched him a few times. Just, I, I don't know what it is about him, but uh, it's just fun. It's just fun to relive those experiences. Super cool. Super cool. Between the giant snakehead and uh, the saltwater fish, and then going for that African catfish at the end there. Good stuff. Number one instant noodle, I believe. Really? I'm not sure. I don't believe so. If I have, I don't know about it. Where ends this? I don't remember it. We got 20 more minutes in game. Before we go back out to the world map here. You're working on it now and it's miserable. <laughs> it's uh it's a lot you'd think with it being such a small fish, it would be so easy to catch, but it's really not. It's really quite a pain. I remember that if it was the common roach, it had gotten to a point during that episode where I was starting to message people in my friends list to see if they could come and help me. And if they were able to catch it, I was just going to film them catching it and being like, yep, hey, we got it. We, we worked as a team and we got it and it worked because I was like beyond my mental capacity. I was getting ready to break down and cry basically it was taking so damn long to figure that darn fish out because it it really just seemed like it was just a stroke of luck um it didn't seem like there was really any signs involved it was just kind of waiting to get a roach um and it was driving me crazy you're on mo been watching just started great vids hey thank you hustle thank you thank you I need to pay attention to my stop and go or else we'll never catch this thing. During the St. Patty's event, you use a vent rod sand because of no bite alarm built in clipped alarms to your rod was enough. I got you. I got you. Come on, baby. Good stop and go. Good stop and go here. Get it. I know he did. That darn guy. Scaring all the fish away. We got essentially 10 more minutes of fishing and then we're moving on. It's like two or three casts here. I'm trying to stay optimistic, you know? Do I like fishing for uh, for catfish and fishing planet with uh, lures, soft plastics and whatnot? No, I do not. Uh, but that is how Super Dave wanted to do it. So here I am doing it. Love that the fish just wee, wee. <laughs> yeah, they do kind of just spring out of the water, don't they? See, it feels that way. Rod Rage, how's it going, man? Reminds me, I forgot the name of your second channel. I wanted to check it out. I was going to ask, but you just mentioned it yourself. Thanks. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, this isn't looking good, you all. Isn't looking good. One more, one more cast. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it off early. Call it off early here. That's why you mentioned me that one random time. Probably so, I suppose. Dang it. My, my freaking 
middle finger. Oh, we just got hit by something too. My middle finger slips and brings the rod tip up. Accidentally. Oh, that's not good either, cat. All right, I'm giving up on this one. We're going to leave. Get the other rod, 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 the other uh, net, and then uh, come back. That way we can actually make some money from these fish. My mistake on the old uh, St. Paddy's Day stuff. Now my brother's texting me. Too close to the mirror. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so... We get the headlamp off. Home inventory. I'll put my X series hat on. Actually, tell you what we have. I have a special hat that not many people have. Not many people have this hat. Where are you? Oh my God. Have I lost it? I've lost my hat. That's strange. Wild Mongolian hat. Camrock hat. Huh. I don't know where else it could have gone. It's not in here. Couldn't be in here. I have a special hat, but unfortunately I must have lost it, I guess, because I don't see it anywhere. Let's actually get the correct um, fish stronghold. Is that what we need? 308? Is that the best we can do right now? I think so. Let's put that sucker in and then get back out there. Boy, that really, that really throws me off. Where the heck is my special hat? I have a special uh, beta tester hat that no one else has. And now I'm mad because I can't find it. Oh, oh well. Not lock outdoors. I, I see you, man. You don't you don't need to repeat yourself. Where am I? I'm I'm in my office at home. Where are you? You use mouse and keyboard? I do indeed. I do use mouse and keyboard. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Controller vibration, eh? I could I could see that being helpful for sure. Where should you cast in the San Joaquin grind? And I, I just say, um, you know, and the darn thing is, is that, you know, the fish spots kind of move sometimes and there are multiple spots to fish for sturgeon. So you don't have to use the spot we use in our uh, videos and stuff like that. But if you ask me what I recommend, it's just going to be what I do in the videos. So save yourself some time if you just search our channel for different stuff you'll probably find the answer you're looking for blue bomb gaming's first stream right on man well sorry we have a loud boat right now it'll be over in just a second this is our marker yes, so Okie dokie. This is the spot, correct? Yes. Okay. Wanted to make sure. <laughs> this entire time we haven't been fishing at the right spot. That would be something. Anchor down. Let's catch a big one. Bow out of context. <laughs> I uh, just kind of speak off the top of my head. I don't really. It's kind of the kind of the thing, you know, as you're growing up as a kid, people will tell you that you're uh, you don't have a filter. And then as you get older and a little bit wiser, even if it's not that much wiser, uh, the random things you say are somehow taken into some uh, philosophical sense. Um, which is kind of funny. Back in the day, people just said that I said things randomly without a filter. And now, now, 
One of these days I will have a long beard and people will call me the sage. Bo Angles the sage. He says philosophical things that will open your mind. And then I'll just be over here like... Cutting grass is like putting a fan blade down to, to plants. And they'll be like, oh, yes, it is like a fan blade down to plants. Very good, Sage Bow Angles. That's amazing. And I'll be like, yes. Yes, indeed. Seems to be a decent fish that we'll actually be able to keep this time. What's your job in real life? I have a lot of jobs. I work a lot of jobs at the same time. But my main job that I, you know, wake up every morning and do is uh, is doing marketing for different state wildlife agencies. So I do a lot of emails and landing pages and make videos and stuff like that for different state wildlife agencies to help out their hunters and anglers in their states. So we send out hundreds of thousands of emails to different hunters and anglers around the United States trying to get them to go out hunting and fishing this is a good sign this this fish right here is a good sign just wanted to give you a shout I'm a college student getting my master's degree right now and your videos are dope to wind down to hey right on Pope well, that's awesome, man. My brother just got his master's. Um, so I, I I know a bit of what you're going through because he lived with me for a good while while he was doing it. So that's cool. That's cool. Keep it up. Dylan, how's it going? Filter fell off. <gasps> Filter fell off at 71. <laughs> What's the birds? I, I don't know what kind of bird it is, if that's what you want to know. I know. I... I, I... I would say I know a good deal of birds in Africa, but at the same time, <coughs> they were specific to one uh, safari park in Zambia. So I probably know less than 1% of the birds in Africa, but uh, they are cool birds. I'll give you that much. You've been waiting to catch your live. It's 930 now Eastern. I know you do Central. Yeah, exactly. <gasps> Here we go. Come on, baby. A bam 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 bam. What's going on? There we go. There we go. Love to see it. Love to see it. Well, top notch, everybody. We did it. Super Dave, we tested your spot. Took two tries, but we got it, man. We got it. I mean, it was like our first, it was our first cast. It was our first cast, wasn't it? First cast at this location. And we got him, my friend. We got him. Let's see. Let's see what old Hino thinks about it. Yes, sir. -y. Yes, sir. -y, Bob. One of the cooler fish here in Africa, or one of the cooler catfish, I guess. Um, the Voodoo. That's a good one. I think uh, Jeremy Wade caught his Voodoo. I believe it was on the Zambezi River below the uh, below the dam, wasn't it? I think. I'm trying to recall. That was the Vindu catfish. It wasn't the Kamba, where the fisherman or whatever had the brother that like would tie the fishing line around his toe or whatever, so that when the fish got it, it would like wake him up from his nap, and then it like he caught a Vindu and it pulled him into the water. Wasn't that the Vindu story? I'm trying to recall. Someone else who uh, knows some fish or some river river monsters lore might be able to uh, let me know. But yeah, I'm thinking that's what it was. Well, very cool. The unique voodoo. We've got one crossed off our list. We'll have to decide now what to go for. Now let's start a poll. Let's start a poll here. What's the next? Next test your spot fish. And we'll do um, we'll do Goliath tiger fish. Um, Nile perch, and we'll do let's do African tiger fish. Let's find a random one from our um, from the map here. What's a random one that kind of looks fun? 
the African pike. We've never caught a unique African pike before. That could be interesting. Uh, a unique bulldog fish. We've never caught a unique bulldog either. That could be interesting. A yellow fish. Okay. Goodness gracious. There's so many fish we haven't caught unique stuff. Purple labio. That could be cool. Let's go with, um, oh God, the African big eye. That's interesting as well. Let's go with the bulldog. I don't think I've ever caught a bulldog, an African bulldog fish. We, uh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Starting the poll. You all decide. We'll wait till we got 99 viewers. Let's wait till we have 50 votes. You're in school right now. Oh my goodness. What are you learning about in school? Which fish are we most excited about for the upcoming map? Ooh, hard. Oh man. Um, I don't know. I said the Goliath tiger fish earlier, or not the Goliath tiger, but the Goliath grouper earlier. I guess I'll have to stick with that. I feel like it's going to be one of the easier ones to catch out of all the different fish. But, um, but yeah, I'm not sure. Doug beat you to it. <laughs> uh, have you seen that take us as something like Congress to control the show or something? I, I have not, Cat. I have not seen that. And the filter is gone completely. <laughs> Have I fished in Southern California? I have not. No, I, I, well, I lived in Northern California, sort of. I lived uh, south of San Francisco for, for a little while and I never went fishing the entire time I was there. It's not really the best place to like go fishing, I suppose, but I could have done a little bit of traveling to do a little bit of fishing. It could have been fun, but I never did. Never did. I didn't bring my fishing gear with me either. So I guess that was something as well. Lots of factors leading to why I didn't go fishing, but would have been neat. I, I think about it all the time. Elephant fish would have been a cool one too. Meat. I agree. How many, uh, how many votes do we have so far? 44 votes. We got six more, six more to go. You're in English class right now. English is important as our, as our main language. It is important to pay attention in English class. <laughs> You had a field trip today, or they let you fish on a 19.5 inch rainbow. Really? Goodness gracious. What's up, Bo? What's up, Zayden Gaming? James, hello, hello. Joachim? Joachim Erickson? Is that my saying right there? Hello from Sweden. Hello, hello. Uh, hello, hello. I don't know a lot of Swedish. It's all very similar to Norwegian, I feel like. But, um, but yeah. <laughs> Track out every time the sound pops up. Jacob Herman, thanks for the sub. He never learned English. Oh no. English is boring. Plus we speak it. You know, as an adult, it becomes more and more aware of who didn't pay attention in English class because even though we all speak it, some people speak it better than others. <laughs> and uh, once you get into the workplace, it uh, it matters. It matters how you type out emails and stuff to people as well. M. Shane, hello, hello. Currently making a top water walker bait out of wood, and you're fresh from chocolate. That sounds cool. All right, so it seems like we're going to go going after the Nile perch here. Let's find who our next test your spot victim is going to be. Just joking. No victim. Super Dave, of course. Big thanks to Super Dave. Got our uh, voodoo catfish there. Now perch. Here we go. Unique Nile perch. Who we got? We can't. So we're not doing Super Dave. We got KP Shimino. Alu. In D's universe, well, here, well, I like the polls thing. I know it takes a little bit longer, but I like the polls. Gives everyone a chance. Let's do uh, D's universe here. KP Shimino. Uh, Awu. Awu, something like that. 
But what else do we got? Oh, there's me. I, I didn't. I probably did catch it, I guess. Charles Macro. Charles Macro's in here. We'll throw him in there, too. All right, here we go. Let's get 50 votes. 50 votes. The birthday girl is here. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So many coworkers don't know how to ride. <laughs> once you're, um, once you start reading emails and there's just like, you know, I can look over one like typo and say, oh, you know, they were in a rush. They just, they didn't write that complete. And then after you see like the second typo and you're like, eh, that's not a good look. And then they have like a third typo or something or like, you know, a grammar issue or punctuation or something like that. And then you're just like, my God, dude, you're an adult. How come you don't know how to type an email? Um, so it is embarrassing. If you don't think English class is important, then um, then you need to uh, rethink your, uh, your thinking there. <laughs> Watching from the UK. Cool stream. Hey, thank you, James. Appreciate it. Currently making top water. I already saw that. That's super cool, though, Envy. I'm envious of you and your woodworking. That's awesome. Is Duck Dynasty one of the top TV shows ever made? You know, when it first came out, I do remember watching every episode that came out. Me and my uh, my coworkers and stuff, we would all, not coworkers, my, what are they called? My roommates. My roommates back in college, we would watch it because it came out when we were in college. And, um, and we would all watch it together. Um, and then I'm not sure at what point it kind of lost us, but we lost interest in the show and um, haven't watched it since. Um, but no, not when there's there's uh, TV shows like River Monsters and stuff like that. I wouldn't say it's, uh, I mean, one of the top TV shows ever. I don't know, still, still a bit of a stretch, but, but still. All right, we're at 33 votes. Let's at least get the 40 here. What what? Who's gonna be the winner at 40 votes? Carly Priv, there we go. I was looking for you, Carly. You know, it actually showed up on my Facebook. I, I saw it on Facebook that it was your birthday. I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. So happy birthday. Happy birthday to Carly Priv. And we got Derek, Mal Derek Malovich in the house. My goodness gracious, the chat is just flooded with blue text right now. One vote to go. Who's it gonna be? D's universe is in the lead right now with 31% in Louisiana with no fish finder. Hey, I don't doubt it. <gasps> oh no. 40 votes in and D's universe and KB Shimino are tied. Can we get one more vote or do I have to flip a coin? I'm prepared to flip a coin. I am prepared. I'm just saying. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 40, <laughs> well, five more votes in. Okay. Top notch. D's universe. We'll call it. D's universe is who we're going with. He's actually got, uh, two videos. He's got two U videos here. We'll watch this one though. Let's, let's do this. This one's 17 minutes long though. <laughs> let's watch the five minute one. How about that? Ooh, that was cool. Fish that you think is smaller, but it's bigger than it looks. I'm asking yes. Well, guys, welcome back to another fishing plan video. And in today's video, we're at the Congo. And surprisingly, I've got my biggest night perch today. So I decided to share it with you guys and just give a few words, you know? In case you guys weren't there watching that day when I was live streaming, we went to the Congo, we did some fishing, just random fishing though. Tiger fish, I perch, and within all that, something happened. And let's just say, if you guys are familiar with going for new PBs at the Congo, you know it's really hard to break your PBs, but in this video, I did. Now, it won't be placed on a leaderboard, but... After months of fishing and grinding this map, catching tons of fish. My God, did you see how far out it lifted that fish up? I was surprised to be honest. Jeez Louise. <laughs> okay, so he's using a ribbed shad six inch, which is what we're using right now, but he is using a 14 aught hook instead of the six aught we're using right now. Um, I only have a 12 aught in my inventory. Can we buy one? Hopefully. Here, I'll screen so you can actually see what I'm looking at. 
14 on hook, please. Ah, oh, it's blocked the level there, 80. Block the level 80. I'm sure we can do pretty well with the uh, 13 on. Let's go ahead. We'll throw that sucker on there. Six inch sad. Do we know? Can we scrub through the video and find out? Um, what time to be going? Do, do, do. Doesn't really show, does he? Okie dokie. Oh, wow. He didn't even catch this one at the waterfall. Yeah! <laughs> I love that. That was fun. I think he's actually fishing for this in the same exact spot that we were fishing just during a different time. Does he open up his inventory or anything during this entire video? All right, well, what we can go off of is that it's a partly cloudy day. We can look at our map and try to figure out what the best time to go after it will be. This is a sunny day. This is a rainy day, rainy. This is the partly cloudy day, day five. Do we go to day five? Let's try it. Can't type in the email. <laughs> Best college team for football is Michigan Wolverines. Oh, you think so, huh? You think so, huh? All right, here's night four. And then we are going to Go to, what do you think? Just straight into this day? All right, we got a 13 knot offset hook with the rib shad, six inch. Should we uh, at least maybe get the anchor off? Maybe that'll help us reel this fish in if we get a big one. Otherwise, let's get to it. Get a big fire across from our house the last few days. Glad it's over. Oh, yeah, that would be. That would be a bit of a scare, eh? I'm thinking that we're pretty much fishing in the exact same place. You can see the little. Uh, tr Little uh, straw houses or thatch thatch houses over there in the background when he caught his. This is now a reaction channel, yeah, because I don't know how to switch freaking things. I guess we should probably have paid attention to what his retrieve was, but we're currently doing a stop and go on the bottom, which you'd think would do okay. Especially with this big of a hook. I mean, anything, the only thing that should go after something this big would be a knob perch. But we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> That's a whole nother thing. You, you start off, you know, being very formal, Andrew, and then, and then people will just, you know, people older than you will start sending you emails that are just basically like text messages. And it's just like, okay, if you were just going to send this, you could have just texted me or sent me this in a Slack channel or something. Uh, yeah, you didn't need to send me an email that just said, all right, sounds good. But it's whatever. Hey, fish on. Fish on. Fish on. First fish. I can't tell if it's small or if it's just, it's not really pulling out line because it's pulling the boat instead. Maybe a little bit of both. the stream with your steak and potato oh steak and potatoes vision over that sounds great i love me some steak and potatoes i actually have a steak and potato so my wife and i actually started signing up for those uh those box dinners or whatever you know they give you a box at the beginning of the week and they have all the different dinners that you make inside it's been kind of fun but uh one of the ones we have this week is a uh, pastrami encrusted steak with baked potato and i'm excited about it Oh, are you joking me? Super Dave, what were you thinking? You could have just used a 13 knot hook uh, during a partly cloudy day. God, what were you thinking with a six knot? Jeez. 
Well, there we go. Another unique voodoo. Fantastic. We are just a voodoo magnet right now. Catching them hand over fist. All right, well, top notch. I guess that's one fish down. Max drag is still possible. It just damages you real faster. You're an hour behind me and I need my beauty sleep. Have fun. Absolutely. Take care, Andrew. Best to catch them from the bow launch docks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And take down MSU in college hockey this week. Stop and go works well. That's that's what I'm giving a try. I'm giving a try. How's my day going? My day's going pretty well. You know, worked all day. My uh, my weight rack finally came in. I put that together before the live stream. That's why I was a few minutes late, and uh, and I haven't been able to use it whatsoever. But uh, but I am excited to give it a try tomorrow morning and maybe a little bit after the live stream. We'll just have to find out. And uh, yeah, see what happens. Hopefully I don't die. Just joking. Just joking. Maybe for competitions, repair costs add up fast when you shared, shred your reels with max drag. Yeah, I can see that. All right, come on, baby. Daddy needs a new pair of now perch slippers. Give me, give me the fish. Got the number one unique Chinook Kanik tree. Oh, really? For mobile? That's awesome, Tom Kayak. Very nice. Well, that cast didn't work out for us, did it? Watch one of your beginning series for St. Croix. Just got there on my new account from following it. Hey, right on, Italian fish. Mm. Um. Kind of icky. Too slick to walk around then. Hey, well, you never know. You could dry them out and then put a nice resin uh, top on them or something so that they're not slippery or something. Resin resin slippers would probably be still pretty slippery, I would assume, but I've never had them, so I wouldn't know. The texture of the scales might give a little bit of grip. Oh, very nice, Ryan. Yesterday and today, it must just be the time to be going after now perch, eh? He did give multiple locations during the video, so we'll give this another few few minutes, few casts, and then we'll go to the waterfall. Because he did catch one there, too. But he caught his big one at the other place. When's the next night time with Bo? You know, I have it on my uh, checklist right here. Bedtime fishing with a bow. <gasps> Where at? Where at? What are we thinking? I'll put down some options. We'll do a little poll while we're fishing. Do um, no dummy. Considering he's yawning, yeah, I am doing a little bit of yawning, yeah. Just thinking of nighttime, nighttime fishing with Bo makes me wanna, makes me start falling asleep. You know when I film those too, right? Super early in the morning. Uh, it's it it, I I say super early, but not really that early. Just around like seven o'clock. Six. I wake up at six thirty, and by the time I'm like making the video, it's around seven o'clock. But uh, but yeah. So it's like the complete opposite of bedtime fishing with Bo. But hey. That's okay. <laughs> Bedtime for someone else somewhere in the world around that time for me. Mm -mm. Dang it. Had some interest there. Basically, it's one of those news shows in the morning. 
It's a wake up fishing planet with bow angles. Hey everyone, welcome. To, good good morning is a good way to start off today. Maybe that's the next the next series after the bedtime fishing with bow is the wake up the wake up fishing with bow. Good morning. <laughs> bow angles here. We're doing some fishing. Hope you're getting your uh, your teeth brushed right now. That would be a good way to do. Um, go ahead, pick out your clothes for the day. I'm not looking. I'm fishing. Uh, what else? Take take a shower if you want to. Hopefully you have a waterproof phone. Gosh dang, we have had what three different fish come up and kind of mess with it, but not take it. It's just ridiculous. You have to buy the DLC to fish Congo. New to game currently on the surgeon ground. No, you don't. You can go to the. You can play the entire game without spending a dollar. Um, you just need to level up and get there, basically. So you're on the sturgeon grind right now. That's good. I'm not looking. I'm fishing. That's that's me. <gasps> Come on, baby. Come on, baby, mother. Dude, okay, I'm done with this spot. Sorry, D's universe, but I'm not sure about this spot. How did you know I was taking a bubble bath? Alrighty, we're gonna try right around here. I'm gonna turn down the waterfall because it's a little loud. I always think the, the waterfall is just a tad loud for the live streams. We'll try 30% and see we're around there. See if that's better. Still kind of loud. We'll give it a go. I knew Derek said that. <laughs> you know each other too well. You were thinking about buying the Congo DLC, me too, just hit level 41. The Congo DLC is just a little bit much. I don't know. It levels you up too fast. The fish just give too much XP and money. Someone had made a remark on the ocean fishing uh, video that the fish didn't seem to give a lot of money and XP. And I, I didn't seem to mind it, honestly, because... I'm just thinking of all the people who go ahead and buy the ocean DLC and the next thing they know they've gone from level 18 to level 74 or something like that and it's just like you just you just completed so much of the game with one DLC you filmed them in the morning it was like finding out the tooth fairy is not real <laughs> oh man Almost like we live together. I know. Well, one of these days, you know, yes, I don't know where I was going with that. Just, just uh, chattering. Just chatterboxering. Did you watch American is all I can see so far in the chat. American Gladiator? American Chopper growing up, Paul Jr. and his dad just breaking doors and building. I, I never did watch that. I only know about it, and if if I do know about it, um, I'm picturing the uh, the guy, the the older guy with like the handlebar mustache, and then the younger guy, and they have the meme of like throwing chairs and stuff like that. That's what I'm imagining. I don't know if that's what you're referring to, but I never watched it. No, I know of the memes. Do you think we'll ever get ice fishing? I think it's highly unlikely. Um, Andrew kind of discussed it a little bit. He was basically saying like, 
you know, for them to take the time to create all of the ice fishing gear and stuff like that to put it into the game. And then there would basically just be like one map where you would do it. He just said it was going to be a lot of work and they would rather focus on the uh, other forms of fishing, essentially. But, you know, I, I think they he he gave the um, the developer response of we don't like to count anything out, but it's just not something we're looking at right now, which I yeah, I, I don't think they're going to be doing it anytime soon. Or your way that I've got to be up super early. Good night. Hey, take care, cat. Take care. So, Carly, have you got a uh, have you got a cake? Did you get any presents? What tell us about your birthday? Did you did you eat some good food? You got it. You're hired. Good deal. I got it. Another job. Both done. Lost his mind. Probably so. Evans on a daily. Day, it's a daily occurrence. Where do you catch the fighter sharks? You know, we caught it. Uh, where, I mean, where we usually catch all of our sharks, to be quite honest. Well, we're just not catching anything right here, are we? I think I'm going to cast off in this direction. These universe. Didn't get a cake. What? What are you doing? No cakes. Yeah, we caught the fighter shark where we catch the rest of our sharks, which is kind of down at the end of the map along this one little island. You'll see what I'm referring to. And if you watch the fighter shark video, you'll, you'll see it. the grind make good use of the DLC and use 30 days to really go back to unvisited location and get as close as possible to a good level before the update to try and do it. Yeah. Well, give it a try, man. All I can say is when they add a new fishing location to fishing planet, it's not going anywhere. It's going to be there forever. But you can't restart your game in Fishing Planet. So if you get to the very end and you catch the biggest fish in the game, your desire to want to go back and catch those smaller fish is going to shrivel up like a raisin. Um, and before you know it, you're not going to be playing Fishing Planet at all. So don't feel a rush. There is no bandwagon. Uh, you don't need to hop on. Enjoy the game. When you get to the ocean level, then you get to it, you know? But if you try the ocean map, you level up 50 levels, and next thing you know, Fishing Planet's boring and you're not playing it anymore. Like, that's... That kind of sucks. And you paid money to get to that point, too. If, you, if you'd... Uh, if you paid some guy to just take your old Xbox disc from back in the day and just crack it with a hammer, would, would you do it? Would you enjoy it? <laughs> a pretzel dessert and nothing for you? Was it, was it Derek's birthday? Goodness gracious. What is this? This kangaroo court. Oh, my back is killing me. Yeah. Showing you age. You can always make a new account and play, replay the game. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm weird about that sort of stuff. I guess. I don't know. For those people who are like okay with just like creating a new Steam account or a new Xbox account just to play one game differently, like <sighs> the only reason I did it was to like start a new playlist on YouTube. Otherwise, I never would have done that. 
Well, these universe, we might need to watch your thing again because we have not caught one single Nile perch this entire time. And I'm getting rather bored. So what's the deal? He is doing a Twitch retrieve, we can see. Doing a Twitch retrieve, middle of the water column. So maybe that's a ticket. We need to do a Twitch retrieve. Okay. All right. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Twitch retrieve. That's the difference. Should have paid more attention on what retrieve to do. More attention. Need a massage? I, I do need a massage. That's right. Let my wife know. I need a massage. Got hit by something there. That's a step up, I suppose, though we've kind of seen that multiple times. Goodness gracious. Killer, it's killer. Right in my middle of my back. All right, one more over here, and then we're going to go back to the left side. Oh. Oh, fish on. Here we go. Finally. Goodness gracious. Took forever. Took forever. We went from 100 people to 77 viewers. That's... that's that's how long it took. You're not late, fishy. You made it to the stream. Gotcha. Yeah, we just about had him in the 60s. Now we're back into the 80s, the 90s, hundreds. What the heck? What did we do wrong? This guy acts like we dated his sister or something. Goodness gracious. That's a good fish though. Looks like it just from that last dive we saw. Hundred and twenty now. Oh, it came up to the top just for a second there. Gets him in quicker. I understand. 
We max drag our fish. Damages our line. Oh, he's past the he's past the rock wall. He's free game now. He's free game now. Yep, they did that on purpose there, Bubba. Ah, oh, trophy. Kidding me. Still a decent sized fish, I'd say. Can't see Hino's face, so. Usually a good sign that it's a big fish. Top notch. $41,000, 23,000 XP. I suppose I'll, I suppose I'll take it. Yep. You missed the catch. Ah, uh, cause the freaking ads. YouTube, uh, Cat was saying that YouTube seems to be going crazy with the ads. Another catfish. All right, all right. Moseying on over. Red Rover, Red Rover. That was an opera. It was an opera. Haley rocks back right on. Good deal. Good deal. Here we go. Come on, baby. Now that we've got the retrieve right anyway. Ooh, got hit by something right in the beginning there. Got hit again. I'm getting hit by stuff, just not getting taken by stuff. Tired, you're tired. Thanks, Haley. Appreciate it. Mom, I want to know. Can you show me? to know about the strangers like me please anyone what movie what Good place to grind on level 18. Emerald Lake. <laughs> Until you get tired of fishing for walleye, and then you can take a break and go either fish for uh, bass at Everglades or fish for trout at uh, fish for trout at uh, Falcon Lake. Tarzan, killing it, Tracy. Killing it. Animated Disney's Tarzan. Phil Collins created a banger of a series of uh, music. Oh, goodness gracious, the playlist. Killing it. Everybody's is fun. Get to catch a lot of bass if you love bass fishing. Everybody's is the place to be. I go back to the Everglades every now and then just because it is a fun place. And when you're playing a game 
sometimes having fun is the main thing. Not finding the quickest way to grind through stuff. So just enjoy the moment. Hey, Sean. That's right. See that, Fanatics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta fish on. Bow Angle's way. What more can you say? We're fishing for now. Perch the Bow Angle's way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. La, la, la. What should I do after going to Emerald Lake? Go, go to, go to St. Croix. <laughs> do whatever you want. No, um, yeah, same thing, basically. Same thing I just said there, Angel. Um, you can go to Everglades, you can go to Falcon Lake, but your main goal is to get to St. Croix and start fishing for pike. Yeah, I bet it will. Boy, this guy's out to 230 almost. That's a good sign, you'd think. Almost back out to 220. Under 200 for the first time. Uh, I think he surfaced there, but we didn't see how big. Oh, it's pretty decent. Another pretty decent size one. You watched the recent video you posted about it? Oh, yeah. Got some fun stuff in that one. That's a good fish, man. 240 now. Good golly. Hike and musky grind at St. Croix is top tier. Some fun. It is some fun. First time your line gets spooled by a by a giant pike, it's not super fun, but otherwise it's pretty fun. Goodness gracious, we're out of the 320 now. 330! You decided to kick on the afterburners, I guess. I don't know. 350. Oh, Yangles. Oh. Yeah, man. We were just talking about that earlier. Now, this could be its own little bedtime fishing with Bo. Because I'm going to send everyone to sleep with all of my yawning. Like that. Just like that. Under 300 again. Through Lake worth going to. Some guy said it isn't to stay weeping in blue crap. That's a uh, Maku Maku, right? Is that in Peru? I don't even know. I assume it is though. Uh, yeah, it's not the greatest place. Though it is your first taste of like fish in the Amazon though. So if you're dying to go fish after some of those fish, the Arapaima, Ayara, all that sort of jazz. Like, I would definitely recommend it, because you've worked that hard to go after some of those fish. You should go after some of them, man. Um, but otherwise, yeah, head back, go to Weeping or something like that, and and uh, catch more of those unique carp. You would think it's got to be an uni. It's got to be an uni. 250 right now. The boat is making its way on the other side of this rock. You learn tons at Maku. Tons. The way it's stripping line, you would think. If it gets on the other side of this rock wall line here, I mean that would be that would be fantastic. One ninety, almost over two hundred again. Yep. Gotta be. It's gotta be an uni. now. 
Come on, man. He's uh he's being stubborn, that's for sure. Surface there. Come on, under 200 again. Let's go. Here we go. Under 150. Let's go. He's got to be swimming towards this. I don't feel like he's that tired. Oh, you love being pulled by the wall and pike in a kayak. Under 100 now. That is pretty cool, Bo, dude. I agree. Here we go. 60s, 50s. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ooh! Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. 366. Right. Oh, $67,000. 36,000 XP. That is what we're looking for. Heck yeah. These universe. We tested your spot. And it worked. Fantastic. Success. Success tastes so sweet. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Amazing. Well, there's our unique Nile Purge, everybody. Can't argue about that. It's a big old fish. That's for sure. Well, we can't keep them, so we got to release them. But uh, that's been a good one. D's Universe. It all worked out, man. It all worked out. Well, we have 15 minutes. I'm not sure if we'll have time to get one more fish. But we can certainly try, I suppose. But uh, let's let's look this up. Unique bulldog fish. I'm curious. Uh huh. Okay. Barbless hook number one. It's a num. It's super small. All that money you're missing out on, I know, right? All right, so. The unique bulldog fish. Is that just gonna be the video? Okay, let's see where he's at. So it's on the day we're on. That's a good sign. 25 inch leader. One number one size barbless hook with blood worms. I don't sure if we have blood worms with us though is the problem. And I don't think we're gonna be able to buy it. Oh my God, we can. We do. Cannot believe we're actually prepared to go after this thing. All right, I missed the uh, coordinates here. Okay. All right, let's go find this thing. We're a little bit like forward on time anyway. We are past, but I think we, we should be okay. We take a look here. We need to go What the heck? We go here. This little island here. Alright. We need to take a ride up here.
try the pike. Oh man, I would try the pike. We got 10 minutes though. I'm already, I'm already into this. I've never caught this bulldog fish before and I'm, I'm ready to get it. How do you get club points? Good question. I believe you just need to be in a club and either do some of the tournaments or uh, maybe fish in a club group, like uh, fish at the same spot with your club team members or something like that. And I feel like that works too. That's it. I think this is it. Whoa, it's spooky in here. Oh God, we can't get our boat through. Yes, we can. But did we want to? <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Backing it up. Backing it up. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. We're in the jungle. We're in the Congo jungle. All right, here we go. So I think if we just fish around this log here, maybe we'll get lucky. Extreme boating. All points are currently not in season. Okay. Getting some answers. Got him! Got him! What do we got? What do we got? Tilapia! Nile tilapia! My uh, personal wreck. I don't think I've ever caught one of these. This is hilarious. I've never caught small fish at the uh, Congo River. It's always been big ones. So this is all like new to me. I got you, Owen. Right on. Ding. Okay, so you can't just you can't just open up a club room and fish by yourself. Got to have, got to have club people with you. We had the one ding, but we never had any fish come over and take it. I'm like looking at where he's fishing and I'm like looking at where we are right now. This seems like the right spot for this bulldog fish. It will uh, reel it in and try it again. Two or three months. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I'm hoping it'll be earlier than two months at least. We'll find out, I guess. I'll probably get it earlier than that, just with the beta and everything. But there's fish on. What do we got? Is this a purple labio? Yes, we're catching so many of these fish I've never caught before. I guess I've caught that one though. It didn't give me a personal record. I got you. I got you. Oh. Ding. You think the size of the bobber affects like the fish coming over and checking it out? Sometimes I wonder. Ding. Whoa, that's an elephant fish or something like that. It's a weird one. It's one of the weirder ones. Yes! Yes! We're catching so many weird fish. This is awesome. Look at this thing. There's no way that's an actual fish. <laughs> that's so awesome. Oh my gosh. It just looks 
It looks like a hummingbird went on vacation and made a mistake with a fish, right? That's such a weird animal. Or an anteater. Congo River Exploration! Woo! Didn't even know that's what I needed. Top notch. We're killing it. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. I, I don't know, Bo, dude. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I think we had a nibble towards the end there. I got impatient. Patience. Patience is key. Anyone have any fun weekend plans? Anything? I guess Easter's coming up soon. Anyone got any Easter plans? I haven't watched my annual uh, South Park Easter episode. Need to watch that. You? You got plans? There we go. That's a take. That's a take. What do we got? Another purple labio. Oh no, we're out of blood worms. Luckily, we can buy more. Uh, call me crazy, but I'm gonna put a one ot on. Whoa, whoa. Very nice. Holiday trip with the family, very cool. This weekend, but next few weekends after. Ooh, mysterious. We got a ding, a ding, a ding. Oh, what's that sound? It's a little fish poking around. You <laughs> guard, how's it going? the one nibble and that was it we did go up to a larger hook so i expect the buy rate to be a little bit lower but oh my god i was just so sick of the the little fish i was sick of the little fish what's a good setup for the, the emerald walleye it depends on what you want to do you can either do a spinning setup or the feeder setup william thanks for the sub william Fishing on fishing zero planet. Oh no, that's not good. Try to do some camping and fishing. There we go. Very nice. Sounds fun. Well, maybe the switch to a wild hook wasn't the way to go. Sideways hat. Sideways hat. All right. Well, shoot. We got we got to end on one fish. Let's go back. Go back to the one hook. 
You think about fish, you catch a fish. There you go. That's the right mindset. Bulldog, be a bulldog fish. Dang it, another purple labia. All right, everyone. Well, I tell you what, we might just have to end it on this sucker. Cool fish, pretty little thing. Did not catch the darn bulldog. Oh, well. Now we have something to come back for, I suppose. Anywho, I really hope it was a fun little uh, live stream. It's always fun coming on every Wednesday night. I'm glad that we're only doing it one night a week, though. It gives me a chance to recharge. Um, so I appreciate that anyway, but, uh, take care. We'll see you all, uh, next Wednesday. Uh, Carly Priv, happy birthday to you. Big thanks to Kat and Derek for showing up and being our mods tonight on top of Carly. So, uh, this has been great. Thank you all for being here. We'll see you next Wednesday. Uh, we do have a video that's covering, uh, the South Africa Reserve for Call of the Wild, the Angler tomorrow. So feel free to watch that. Otherwise... Wednesday. See you there. Be there. Be square. Bye bye. Bye bye. One family. Game on.